Snorlax says if you don't like the video right now, he's gonna sit on you. Hey, what's up guys, Zach here. Welcome back to another video. So today, as you guys can see, we're here at the Super Ultra Mega Park back on Skate 3. And today, we're gonna be doing another episode of Epic Skate 3 Challenges where I try some of your guys' hardest Skate 3 challenges and see if I can do them myself. But we've been doing this for years. You guys know the drill by now, but I needed something to talk about while I do the warm-up line. You know, I can't just be silent. Or else the whole video would be like that. But unfortunately, we do not have a sponsor today, so I guess we're just gonna have to get straight into the challenges. Alright guys, our first challenge today comes from Sir Watts. Let's watch the video. As you can see, they look like they're inside the pipe. They come out, dark catch, flip, what, into a dark slide grind? All the way back into the, like, I, wait. <laughs> Gotta watch it one more time. This is some craziness right here. A full front flip out of the pipe into a dark slide flip out back into the pipe okay my guy went straight for it this is gonna be a tough one so we're gonna head to the factory roofs i think that's the best way to get up to this pipe ah yes there it is the beautiful pipe in skater i'm surprised we don't get more challenges here i think i've probably done two or three in my lifetime in this pipe but maybe you guys should try to send me more because this is a really cool spot there's like a million staircases you have to take just to get up to it but eventually, you get up to the entrance of the pipe. Now, it's kind of dangerous. So if you set my marker here, basically, you can ride into this pipe, but then you can't really see all that much. You don't really know where you're going. Oh, okay, so our challenge is to come all the way here. We need to do a dark catch flip out of this and then land up on a rail. <laughs> the first challenge is going to be getting the rail up there. Can I place it from here? Oh, I can't even open my object editor. Yeah, go. Okay, first step complete. Now I can go into the object editor, okay. Here we go, we have a yellow flat bar. I'm pretty sure this is the one they use. I just know that the rail was yellow. Place it right there. Okay, that, that was a failed placement. The object editor, you can't really tell the depth. You can't really see how far away things are. I think this is right, right there. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I think I got it. All right, well, the rail is gonna be there. Hopefully we can hit it. All right, the first step is to see if the rail even stayed over there because I actually teleported back to the roof so hopefully the rail is still where i placed it oh my gosh we're going pretty fast okay well if it's there this would be our first try yes it is still there oh ah, okay well we did the dark catch but i don't know how we're gonna flip out onto the rail i've done a lot of challenges but somehow these keep getting harder and harder okay here we go we're going kind of slow but front flip okay that was decent i guess okay my guy's not having a good time though come on i don't know i need to try something different maybe if i go more like this out okay that was a terrible try the tweet did say that it took them 2.5 hours to land so maybe by reading that i should have realized that this was going to be a hard one. Oh, oh oh okay that was the closest one yet i, I, I missed a lot whoa what's happening my guy, guy's hanging from the pipe from his leg all right i'm actually gonna move the rail a little bit i feel like now that i'm up here i can maybe drag it closer to the starting point. I'm hoping that this will help a tiny bit. Okay, and my theory is correct. Yes, okay, that was way closer. Come on, come on, right here for all the marbles. All the marbles, oh, and I knocked over the rail. Oh, what, dude, <laughs> just hit the rail. Yes, let's go. That was perfect. Oh, what a way to start off this video. Now that's what I'm talking about. But let's watch it back one more time because that was awesome. We got a kickflip, dark catch, backflip into a dark slide on the rail, kickflip out, and boom. What? We can't see it. Yep, dark slide the rail, and then boom. There we go. That is where we landed it. Oh, in full speed, that looks crazy. All right, thank you for sending in that challenge. That was actually a really fun one. All right, let's move on. Our next challenge is even bigger than that one. Let's watch it. Looks like they're at the dry docks. They go down, little no foot air into this like half pipe area, all the way up and over the support beam. And oh, unfortunately, they cannot land it. Ooh, all right. I don't even know if that's possible. They weren't able to do it, but we're going to try it out. We're going to avenge the challenge for them. We're going to try to land it ourselves. And you can actually see the area down there where we need to go, but we're going to just teleport there. Well, we were just standing on that roof top but now we're here it's like magic guys it's crazy but anyways here we are on the support beam and we're gonna try to drop into this like sketchy looking half pipe and then we need to ollie up out of it over this 
support beam that we're already on. And then we have to do what they were not able to do, and that is land back down into that ramp, I think? This is gonna be a tough one. This is gonna be way harder than the last challenge. But all right, let's set our marker up here, probably around here, and let's give it a try. Maybe we can get some first try magic here. Probably not, but we need to go up all the way over the support beam. Okay, we made it to the support beam, but we need to get over it. Just like a bad breakup. We gotta get over it. You gotta, like, hit this ramp just right if you wanna get the speed for it. Oh, and up and... Oh! Onto the support beam. Nice. But now we're going too far. That doesn't count. We gotta clear it. And I hope we can find a place to land because the person who sent the clip was not able to. Also, I think it might be fun if we try to just, like, jump into it like this instead of skate off the ledge. I feel like that looks awesome, but... Oh, there's the thing we're trying to get over. Okay, that looks nice. And up. Oh my gosh, come on. Yes, over the beam. Oh, I think we're going too far. Yes, this is the problem that they had. We were going too far. We need to make it over the beam without going too far because then there's just literally no possible way to land it. But here we go. All the way in. Very nice. And up over the beam. Not even close. Oh my gosh, this is a tough one. Nice. And up. Oh, come on. Oh, yes, over the beam. Oh, my gosh. We barely hit the beam, and we didn't land it. That's not a good sign. We're going to have to barely, barely clear the support beam in order for this to work. Also, I should mention, in my last video, a lot of you guys said you wanted to see, like, a timer in the corner so you could see how long it took me to land some of these challenges. Is that something you guys would like to see? If so, let me know down in the comments, because I think that would be possible. Oh, no, we landed up there again. Oh, oh, my gosh, it is possible. Oh, we did it. Oh, let's go. That was awesome. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I was starting to think it wasn't going to be possible, but there it was. Oh my gosh, we barely, barely cleared that. All right, we got to watch that back. That was pure surprise in my voice when we landed that. But Ollie all the way down into this half pipe. Ollie up and out and oh my, oh my gosh. I think I saved it with this melon grab right there. And I didn't hit the support beam because I pushed the board forward. That was crazy. And then perfect landing down on the ramp. Wow. All right, that was awesome. We need to see a full replay of that because that was great. Oh, yes, let's go. All right, that was a grind, but it was definitely worth it. Oh, okay, well, if we thought that challenge was hard, the next one might be just as hard, if not harder. This video comes from Kalem on Twitter. Let's watch it. They're at the ghetto spot. Speed glitch off the makeshift ramp. And where are they going to land? They land on this huge flat area. Oh, they have, oh through the mountain. Backflip into, like, the banked area on the roof. And then down into the Miracle Bowls. Like, that is such a long line. And it all starts with that crazy speed glitch gap. So let's go over there. This is going to be a fun one. All right, here we are at the ghetto spot. We haven't done too many challenges here. But I feel like this year we've actually done more than we have in previous years. So today, we're going to try to speed glitch off of this and then do the rest of that crazy line. There's no way to preface this. I just need to try it, really. We just need to bang. Speed glitch, almost never first try. We got to make sure we find the right spot. Okay, maybe that's it, but we can't hit the building. It's kind of hard to speed glitch when the ramp is this close, but there we go. Okay, hit the building again. We need to ollie at the end, I think. Oh, wait, this could be it. No, don't hit the pipe. Oh, okay, we, we landed on the right spot, but we also need to continue and go up off the mountain and then off the roof and then into the bowl. But it all starts with a good speed glitch, just like that. Okay, we're going way too far to the right, though, and dead. Oh, that's looking good. Okay, this looks good. Perfect. Okay, now we need to go into the mountain. Okay, okay. <laughs> we need a backflip. We missed the backflip, but we're up here and land down here. Okay, it, it, that was actually pretty close, but it's looking possible. I think this one might not be as difficult as I originally thought. We're already up here. Perfect. And up into here. Nice. Okay, backflip. Where's the backflip, bro? If we can get the backflip, we can just ride away into here. Okay, maybe it's not going to be as easy as I thought to land down there. Okay. 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 Perfect. All right. Now we need to focus up here. Focus up. Backflip. Yes. Oh, up here. Does that count? I don't, oh, no. We're still going. And down and in. Oh, we, 
<laughs> we kind of made it. I don't know. Does, it, does, it, does that count? I feel like if you have to ask if it counts, it typically doesn't count. I feel like we're supposed to backflip onto the slanted part. But hey, that's a half land. And I honestly think we can land this pretty quickly. So let's give it one more try. Nice. That is a perfect launch right onto the roof and up over here. Backflip into the banked area. Come on. Yes. Okay. Now ride down in. Yes. There we go. We did the whole line perfectly clean that time. Took a couple tries, but there we go. That is probably one of the longest lines I've done in one of these videos. Usually there's like one or two gaps, but that one had so many. We start all the way back at the ghetto spot with the speed glitch up off the ramp. We go flying 180 melon grab. We've done a lot of melon grabs this episode, but they've, they've been pretty cool. So it's okay. We go all the way down. Ollie onto the mountains, and then, oh, backflip is looking nice into the banked area this time where we were supposed to land. And then just nice and chill, ride down into the final Miracle Bowl section. All right, let's see if we can film that whole thing. Oh, that was clean. All right, there we go. Another challenge completed. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, our last challenge of the video comes from Josh on Twitter. Let's watch it. Looks like they're at the Maloof Money Cup somewhere. They had one push and then double heel flip, hippie flip. No, wait, okay, they rewind it for us, but there we go. Double heel flip, hippie flip. I've only done one hippie flip ever, and I'm pretty sure it was a nollie tray flip. I've definitely never tried a double heel flip hippie flip so let's head over to the maloof money cup and we will give this a try all right we're here at the maloof money cup but we actually have to get up on top of the half pipe somehow i don't really know if there's like a super easy way to get up there and parkour <laughs> okay not like that i think we can actually teleport to the vert area all right that's better we need to go to the other side of this half pipe this is a really cool spot by the way i've done a lot of cool challenges here but we need to go up and right here. Perfect. This is the rail. So they do not have a lot of speed when they do this. They have like one push. So I'm going to follow in their footsteps. But first, I can already tell we're going to hit the rail a million times. I'm going to add it to my marker. Now they just go for it. Just double hippie flip. Yep. Good thing I set the rail to my marker. We're going to probably knock this thing over a million times trying this. But oh, that, that was literally it. I don't know if you guys saw that, but we actually like did it right there. What? Hold on. Okay, okay, well, now we're just not even getting close. I swear, we actually did it. We just didn't land back on the board. That would have been a crazy second try. And for those of you who don't know what a hippie flip is, basically, my skater needs to go over the rail and my board needs to go under the rail. So when I do this double heel flip, the board needs to go under and not hit the rail and I need to land on it on the other side. Oh, getting this done quickly would be such an awesome way to end this video. I literally almost had it's like second try and ever since then I haven't even gotten close. I'm not sure if there's like a trick to this. I imagine it's more of like a timing thing. Oh, but I really cannot believe how close we got on our second try. Oh, sometimes, cha oh, that was actually pretty close. I was gonna say sometimes challenges are like that where I'll get really close on my first try or my second try and then not get close again for like 30 minutes. And hippie flip. Oh, what the heck? The rail went flying. Oh, that was actually really close too. Oh! Dude, we literally just did it again, but we didn't land on the board. Oh, look at that. We literally, oh man, if we just landed on the board, we had it. Oh, yes, there it is. And I did the gesture. Oh, that was so sick. My first ever double hippie jump in Skate 3. Wow, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I've never tried it because I thought it would be like super hard, but apparently it's not that bad. Let's get another super slow-mo look at it. Oh, double heel flip right under the rail, and then I just disappear. We'll have to look at it from a different angle to see the landing, but that is literally perfect. Oh, nice. I could watch that all day. That is so clean. Oh, awesome. I love hippie flips. That was really cool. Well, all right, there we go. Double hippie flip completed. Well, all right, that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you'd like to send in your own Epic Skate 3 challenges, you can send them to me on Twitter, Instagram, or my subreddit. All the links are down in the description. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, stay sexy. See you guys.